Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth Lopez, registered holistic nutritionist and master trainer. And today I have the beautiful Esme here. She is all the way from the UK, but she's been here as an hourglass workout girl for quite a bit. And turn around, show that hourglass shape. Woo! And the tiny waist, which is the topic of the day. Can you see that? Like, look from the side. This thing is ridiculous. This, this is like tiny waist goals right now. She's like, she's like, I'm pulling it in. I'm cinching. Cinching is good though, it's not cheating. It's important, right? Now, we're gonna do a real time tiny waist workout with you right now. It is the kind of, it's, it's the moves that you learned in the how to get a tiny waist video. So if you haven't already watched that, it is awesome and it's really an important video I feel for a lot of women. So check that out in the description box below or maybe we'll put it up here. I don't know, I guess we'll see what happens. But we're gonna show those moves and just in short, in case you're gonna watch it after, what we're doing is we're working the transverse abdominis, okay? What is that? It is the deepest layer in our abdominals and it is works like a corset. So instead of wearing those silly things that people put on when they're working out, let's build our own internal corset and make our waist cinch. Show them, Esme. It's senses. These exercises that we're about to show specifically work the transverse abdominus layer, and this is the layer that goes, and it literally, I took two to three inches off of my ribs all the way down, just like this, by learning to use my transverse abdominus about eight years ago when I studied Pilates for three years. Ooh, so you're gonna do it now too. Get ready, it's gonna be about a 10 minute workout. You can do it at home. The only piece of equipment that you can use optionally is a stability ball, but you don't need it. It can be zero equipment but a mat. Who's ready? Are you ready? Oh Woo! Okay, we're gonna start. Uh, there is my ball. It, it rolled away. Here we go. Now we're ready. So get on the floor with us. Get ready for the tiny waist workout. I've got my phone to do some timing for us. We're starting off with tabletop. Tabletop, who's ready? We're starting. 10 reps per leg. Tabletop looks like this. Pull your ribs together so we're cinching. Shh, shh. Cinch. Everything drops. Make sure the knees are just in front of the hips, okay? And she's gonna go controlled, bring it down and up. That's two reps. We're going to 10 reps all on the same leg. So three and up. Super controlled. Esme, you count the reps for me. We're at four, we're gonna go to 10. Thank you, because I can't count and talk at the same time. But not out loud, just tell me when you hit 10. Right. Okay, you guys too, <laughs> keep it going and I'm gonna keep talking. Now I would like it even more slow than this because the thing with Pilates and the thing with tabletop is it's 100% controlled from what we call our powerhouse. Does anyone catch her cheating right now? Do you? Do you see her bringing her knee more forward than her hip? I do. So I'm gonna keep my hand here. She's onto her other leg. Controlled, control down and control up. Think about here. Think about not letting your back arch. What we wanna do is we wanna have what's called a neutral spine. So we're not imprinting into the floor or pushing our back into the floor, but we're also not arching. We're keeping that neutral curve that happens in our spine when we're sitting and everything is strong, pulled together and tight. How are you doing with Esme here? If you're doing it properly, this should burn. If your knees are too far forward and you're doing it, you feel nothing. <laughs> so make sure that you're here. Did you hit 10? I hit 10. Okay, everyone ready? We're about to hit hundreds, level one. Feet on the floor, good. Slightly curl the shoulders off the floor. Head stays in neutral right there. And we're gonna begin pulsing. Perfect, I'm putting the clock on for 30 seconds, which we started. Now she's doing this movement. Notice what she's not doing is she's not coming forward and back. She's actually keeping this area very still and the pulsing is happening here. The breathing goes. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. She's gonna let her neck come back just a little bit, but we're still curling up here. Why? Because we're trying to keep neutral spine from the neck down. Push that chin back just a little bit more. Keep pulsing, keep pulsing, good. Okay, and roll over onto hands and feet. We're going into bird dog. Good, so quadruped position, opposite hand, opposite leg. Oh, the clock is like, let me join in. No, we're just going 10 for leg, you count for me. So here we go, we're reaching and bringing it in. Good, spine is staying neutral, the shoulders are staying level, the hips are staying level. We want to avoid any rock, okay? We want to keep this very strong. I'm gonna give her a little punch. 
We're engaged, very good. We're very, very strong through the core. And she's keeping this again. When we're working on the transverse, when we're working on the core, slow and controlled movements work really, really nice. Um, lengthened, held isometric movements work really well as well. She's switching legs now, so you can switch legs with her. What you want to do is don't focus on up, focus on length and contraction. So she's contracting her glute, she's contracting down the erectors, she's also contracting at her rear delts. That arm could come up just a touch more. There it is. I like to try to reach it just about in line or just below my ear. Good, and she's keeping that core strong. Things that start to happen as you get tired is you start to dip. Okay, you start to over arch that back because you're not maintaining your core strength. 10 and 10. We are moving on. We're on to hundreds level two. Roll back over. So we started with hundreds level one, feet on the floor. Now we're gonna go hundreds level two. It's gonna look like tabletop at the beginning. So legs come up. And again, make sure that you're not here. You wanna be here. There, so make sure those knees are, the, are in line with the hip or slightly forward and begin your pulses. Here we go. Clock is on, everybody. Now, important things to remember is the breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Those knees are still forward. We want to, can you give me a little more curl up? Yeah, but not too high. Keep those, keep everything slightly imprinted. Good, and we're doing that pulsing. Our chin is pulled in, so we're trying to keep, and our head is just slightly back to try to keep that neutral spine, meaning we don't want to be here. We want to stay neutral, long, and flexing. You're almost there, Esme. Pump a little bit harder. Good. We're going back into bird dog for one more round. Good. We're getting there, guys. Here we go. Esme counted out. And we're back to bird dog. Good. And we're keeping that neutral spine. We're lengthening, reaching. I can see up here is getting a little bit tired. Reach, Esme. Yes. Good. Keep that core nice and strong and not too high with the foot. Reach it back. Good. And contract and contract. See the definite, just good glutes, huh? Good glutes. <laughs> good. But this is the tiny waist where it goes. So that's where we're focused on. But when you have a tiny waist, it makes your hips and glutes look bigger. It's the whole illusion hourglass thing, a little bit of an hourglass technique training. And we're switching legs and arm, good. And again, we're reaching long. We're getting that contraction. Our core stays strong throughout. I'm gonna give her another sucker punch, good. Now, when you're training, I sucker punch myself. Good, and one more rep, bam. Okay, we're moving on to hundreds level three. This is the hardest one of the hundreds. And the most so, fun. And the most, <laughs> she knows, and the most fun. I love that you said that. Um, so if you need to, you can go back to any of the beginning. You can go back to level um, one or two. Otherwise, I'm gonna take you to level three. <laughs> you so mean. <laughs> I want you to imprint just a little bit more. So just curling the shoulders off the floor, but still keeping your back onto the floor. Pulling everything in, pulling kegels flat, so lower, flat down here. Pulling the belly button in, pulling the ribs together, breathing the... I, when I'm doing... When I'm doing Pilates, you can fully hear me like, shh, shh. it sounds like I'm like in Lamont's class. Okay, <laughs> and then bring it down. We're flipping over to plank, everybody. So join us in plank. We are holding for one minute. Clock is set. Okay, in the plank. The plank is probably the most popular exercise for the transverse abdominis. Remember again, we are working our internal corset to cinch our waist permanently and make it tiny all the time. Okay, so right in here. So she is cinching. She's focusing on ribs together. She's focusing on belly buttons up to spine. She's focusing on pulling the low abs in and the kegels up. So it's a full Pilates with a zip up all the way through. Again, if you missed it on the other video, please make sure to watch that right after this. She's staying strong. The glutes are not in the air. She's doing a very nice job. Her um, elbows are right underneath her shoulders and I'm gonna make it just a touch more advanced and I'm gonna have her hands in line. Yes, right there, perfect. She's reaching back. If she wants to make this any more challenging at all, she could also point her toes. And she went for it. Ooh, score. <laughs> Almost there, Esme, pull those abs in. Good, five. Four, you can do it. Three, two, very good. We're almost there. We're gonna flip over into dead bugs, so lying on your back. Good. If you don't have a ball, you can also do this without a ball. Good. Holding the ball right here. Push your shins and your hands into the ball. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna do opposite hand, opposite leg. So bring it on down. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Perfect. You can start, you can all start early while I 
There we go. <laughs> now, in this one, this is amazing for the transverse. We're really pushing into the ball. So you're really pushing your hand in your opposite leg. I like to have the visual thought, try to pop the ball between your hand and your foot. Everything is slow and controlled. So as you're coming up, you're thinking, push in, focusing through that powerhouse. Pull the belly button in, pull the kegels out, flatten the lower abs. You've got five seconds left. I hope you guys are feeling this. Good, three, two, back into your plank position, but this time we're doing a plank crunch. This is an incredibly small movement. Very, very small movement. Ask me, do you remember how to do it? Yep. There it is. <laughs> so this one, the bum does not go up in the air. It's the opposite. Good. So we are exactly, so we're crunching, and it's kind of like this. So you go neutral and contract. So your bum kind of does, I call it an ugly crunch, where you crunch under and everything kind of like squeezes together in a very unflattering way, but she's got such a good butt. So, <laughs> so she's crunching and contracting her core, and then going back to neutral with just strong core. So contract and neutral, contract and neutral. This one then properly, I don't always make it through a minute because I squeeze so hard. Sometimes at like the 30 second mark, I'm now on my knees. Why don't you actually show up from your knees just in case I can really see it. Here. We can not in the air. Good, now continue, contract. Good, and neutral. Contract, and neutral. Let's get those hands straight again. Yeah, for that more. You got 10 seconds, everybody, you can do it. We're pulling the belly button in, should I suck a puncher again? And we're good, look how strong she is. We got four seconds. Three seconds, two seconds. Let's get some cardio in there. Are you ready for 30 seconds of mountain climbers? Oh, in three, no. in two, and begin. <gasps> now, this one I also like, even though it's a little bit cardio y, so it's not as um, all the other exercises we've been doing for transverse are very slow, controlled, focused. But see how she's keeping that really nice neutral spine? Her body's not up in the air. She's almost in a plank, but running in a plank. How great is that? It's pretty good. <laughs> so we're hitting transverse. We're also hitting some other awesome ab muscles. I love that she's sweating it out. She's got 12 seconds. I hope you guys are here with her. Her um, hands are right underneath her shoulders. Look at that nice neutral neck and spine and everything is there. You've got three seconds. You got two seconds. And we are going into crisscrosses, the final exercise. Yeah. I didn't even get to warn you. We did. Exercise. Are you ready? Are ready. you ready? Yes, mate. Crisscrosses, hands yeah. underneath the booty. Boom, let's do it. Boom, boom, there it is, there it is, there it is. And she is contracting and contracting. Belly button is dropped, spine. This is pulled in, your kegels are pulled up because that is called the what? It's called the zip up. We are zipping up, we are cinching the waist. She's lengthening her legs, pointing her toes, thinking everything is coming from the Pilates powerhouse of boom, 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 make it, make it intense. Breathe it, let me hear you. There it is, here's that Pilates breathing. Good, and go, and go. Three, two, and you made it. Hooray! Uh, <laughs>